Hello, gents. If you've ever felt like you don't quite fit in with the crowd, or if you find more peace in solitude than in the noise of social gatherings, you might be a true lone wolf. Unlike those who just enjoy a bit of alone time, true lone wolves are wired differently. They thrive independently, often choosing their own path over following others. But being a lone wolf isn't about rejecting society. It's about embracing your own strength and self-reliance. In this discussion, we'll dive into the 10 clear signs that set true lone wolves apart, helping you understand if you're one of them. Let's get started. I recommend you watch until the end for a clearer understanding. Number one, you are unapologetically selective. You are unapologetically selective, and that's something you take pride in. Socializing isn't something you chase after or feel pressured to do just for the sake of fitting in. Instead, you're deliberate about when and with whom you engage. You understand that your time and energy are valuable, so you don't waste them on superficial interactions or relationships that don't bring meaning to your life. When you do decide to connect with others, it's entirely on your own terms. You don't follow the crowd or get swayed by social expectations. Your interactions are intentional, not obligatory. You're also not afraid to be ruthless in deciding who gets access to your inner world. You've developed a keen sense of who deserves a place in your life and who doesn't. It's not about being cold or distant. It's about recognizing that not everyone is meant to be part of your journey. You set high standards for the people you allow into your space, and you stick to them. And here's the refreshing part. You don't feel guilty about it. You've learned that protecting your peace and maintaining your own sense of self is far more important than trying to please everyone around you. You understand that being selective isn't a weakness. It's a strength. It's a reflection of your self-respect and your commitment to living authentically, surrounded only by those who truly understand and appreciate the real you. Number two, you don't aim for happiness. You aim for peace of mind. You don't aim for happiness. Your goal is peace. Society often paints happiness as the ultimate destination filled with excitement, success, and constant positivity. But you see through that illusion. You know that happiness, as most people define it, is fleeting, an emotion that comes and goes, often dependent on external circumstances. Instead, you're drawn to something deeper and more lasting, inner peace. For you, peace isn't about avoiding discomfort or always feeling good. It's about accepting life as it is, with all its ups and downs, and finding a calm center amidst the chaos. You understand that chasing after momentary pleasures and avoiding pain won't lead to lasting fulfillment. So, rather than constantly seeking happiness, you embrace life's challenges, knowing that true peace comes from resilience and self-awareness. This mindset allows you to face discomfort head-on. Understanding that growth often happens outside your comfort zone. You're not afraid to let go of things that once brought you happiness if they disrupt your inner balance. Whether it's relationships, habits, or even certain goals, you're willing to sacrifice temporary satisfaction for long-term tranquility. In the end, your pursuit of peace makes you more grounded and self-assured. You don't get caught up in the roller coaster of emotions that comes with constantly seeking happiness. Instead, you find contentment in knowing that, no matter what life throws your way, you have the strength and clarity to maintain your inner peace. Number three, you're a minimalist of energy. You're a minimalist of energy, and that's one of your greatest strengths. You don't waste time or effort on anything unnecessary, whether it's people, tasks, or even thoughts that don't serve a purpose in your life. While others may spread themselves thin trying to juggle everything at once, You've mastered the art of focusing only on what truly matters. Your life is stripped down to the essentials, and that's exactly how you like it. You've learned to cut through the noise and distractions that consume so much of other people's energy. Instead of getting caught up in trivial matters or worrying about things beyond your control, you manage your mental and emotional energy with almost surgical precision. You know when to invest your energy and when to conserve it, allowing you to stay sharp and effective in everything you do. This minimalist approach doesn't mean you're detached or uncaring. It means you're intentional. You've recognized that your energy is finite and you treat it as a valuable resource. 
Whether it's declining social invites that don't interest you or letting go of thoughts that drain you, you're ruthless in protecting your energy. This allows you to focus on what truly brings you value and satisfaction. In the end, this mindset makes you more present, resilient, and fulfilled. You're not constantly exhausted from trying to do it all. Instead, you channel your energy into what truly matters, living a life that's both efficient and deeply satisfying. Thank you for being a cherished subscriber. We genuinely value your ongoing support. Your involvement is incredibly meaningful to us and motivates us to keep providing top quality content. Number four, you live with a low tolerance for nonsense. You have a razor-sharp focus that refuses to be dulled by the trivialities that often consume others. Small talk, petty drama, and pointless concerns. These are all just noise to you. You don't have the patience for such distractions, and you certainly don't make room for them in your life. Instead, you're laser-focused on what truly matters, cutting through the clutter with precision. Your time and energy are valuable, so you invest them wisely, directing your attention only to what aligns with your goals and values. This low tolerance for nonsense isn't about being harsh or cold, it's about knowing your worth and not letting the insignificant steal your peace. You understand that life is too short to get bogged down in matters that don't contribute to your growth or happiness. By filtering out the irrelevant, you create space for the things that genuinely enrich your life, allowing you to pursue your passions with unwavering dedication. In a world where many get lost in the chaos of everyday noise, your ability to stay grounded in what's meaningful is your superpower. You're not just surviving, you're thriving, focused and undistracted by the nonsense that would otherwise pull you off course. Number 5. You are unmoved by FOMO, fear of missing out. That's not something you worry about. While others might chase after the latest trends or scramble to attend every social event, you remain calm and composed. The buzz of temporary excitement doesn't sway you. You've learned that real fulfillment isn't found in fleeting moments or the approval of others, but within yourself. You're not interested in jumping on every bandwagon or following the crowd just to feel included. Your sense of self-worth is strong, rooted in something far deeper than the need to be everywhere and do everything. Instead of letting FOMO drive your decisions, you focus on what truly matters to you, your passions, your goals, and the things that bring lasting joy and satisfaction. This doesn't mean you're antisocial or disconnected. It means you're selective. You know that not every opportunity is worth your time and you're perfectly okay with saying no when something doesn't align with your values or long-term vision. While others may spread themselves thin trying to be part of everything, you prioritize what genuinely contributes to your growth and happiness. In a world obsessed with being constantly connected and up-to-date, your indifference to FOMO is refreshing. You're not missing out. You're simply choosing a path that leads to deeper, more meaningful fulfillment. Your focus on what truly matters allows you to live with purpose and intention, untouched by the noise of the moment. Number 6. Silence is your sanctuary. Silence isn't just the absence of sound for you, it's your sanctuary. While others may feel uneasy in quiet moments, constantly seeking to fill the void with chatter or noise, you find deep comfort in those pockets of stillness. Silence to you is more than peaceful, it's essential. It's where you recharge, reflect and reconnect with your inner self. In a world that's always buzzing, where distractions are endless and noise is constant, you choose to retreat into the calm that silence offers. Whether it's the literal noise of everyday life or the metaphorical noise of unnecessary drama and trivial conversations, you instinctively avoid it. You understand that this noise can clutter your mind, pulling you away from what's truly important. For you, silence is a space of clarity and focus. It's where you can think deeply, where your best ideas are born, and where you find the calm needed to navigate life's challenges. You don't just tolerate silence, you crave it, knowing that in those quiet moments, you're most in tune with yourself. This relationship with silence isn't about avoiding the world or shutting others out. It's about creating a sacred space where you can be fully present undisturbed by the chaos around you. In the stillness you find strength, wisdom, and a sense of peace that no amount of noise could ever provide. Silence is your refuge, 
your secret weapon in a world that never stops talking. Number 7. You navigate social settings like a ghost. In social settings, you're like a ghost, present but not fully there. You navigate these spaces with an effortless grace, slipping in and out without drawing attention to yourself. While others might seek to make a splash, eager to be seen and heard, you prefer to remain in the background, observing rather than participating. You're there, but you're also not, moving through the crowd without leaving a trace. This ability to blend in isn't about being shy or withdrawn, it's a choice. You value your privacy and independence, and you've mastered the art of moving through social environments without getting caught up in them. You don't need to be the center of attention to feel secure or validated. In fact, you find comfort in your ability to remain unseen, quietly taking in the world around you without becoming entangled in it. You're not disconnected or aloof. You're simply selective about how you engage with the social world. You listen more than you speak, observe more than you act, and when you do choose to interact, it's intentional and meaningful. This gives you a unique perspective, allowing you to see things others might miss in their rush to be noticed. In a society that often values visibility and extroversion, your ghost-like presence is a refreshing contrast. You don't need to leave a mark to know you were there. You're content with the quiet impact you make in your own subtle, understated way. Number eight, you experience deep cognitive dissonance. You live in a state of deep cognitive dissonance where conflicting thoughts and ideas constantly collide in your mind. This isn't just a passing discomfort. It's a profound struggle that comes from seeing the world through a unique lens. For you, being a lone wolf isn't just about cherishing independence. It's about questioning everything, including the very foundation of reality and your place within it. Your mind is a battleground where different perspectives, beliefs, and ideas clash. On one hand, you value your solitude and the clarity it brings, but on the other, you grapple with the human desire for connection and understanding. You see the contradictions in the world around you, and it's not easy to reconcile them. These internal conflicts push you to dig deeper to seek truths that others might overlook or ignore. This constant questioning shapes your worldview, making you acutely aware of the complexities of life. You don't take things at face value. You analyze, dissect, and challenge every idea until you understand it, or at least come to terms with its contradictions. This process is exhausting, but it's also what keeps you intellectually alive, constantly evolving in your thoughts and beliefs. Living with deep cognitive dissonance isn't easy, but it's part of what makes you who you are. It drives you to explore beyond the surface, to question not just the world but your role in it. In this relentless pursuit of understanding, you find a unique strength, one that sets you apart as a true lone wolf, forever questioning, forever searching. Number 9. You're not just unafraid of conflict, you thrive on it. Conflict isn't something that makes you uncomfortable or anxious. In fact, you don't just face it. You thrive on it. While others might avoid confrontation, preferring to keep the peace, you're drawn to it. Whether it's an internal struggle or a clash with someone else, you don't back down. Instead, you confront it head-on, knowing that within the chaos lies an opportunity for growth and strength. For you, conflict is not a sign of weakness or failure. It's a catalyst for change. It forces you to dig deeper, to challenge your own beliefs, and to push your boundaries. When faced with a tough situation, you don't crumble under pressure. Instead, you rise to the occasion, using the tension to fuel your drive. It's in these moments of confrontation that you discover your true capabilities, testing your limits and emerging stronger on the other side. You understand that conflict is a natural part of life, not something to be feared or avoided. It's through these challenges that you learn the most about yourself and others. Whether it's a heated debate, a personal disagreement, or an internal dilemma, you face it with a clear mind and a determined spirit. In a world where many shy away from conflict to avoid discomfort, you stand out. You don't just survive in the midst of conflict, you thrive. It's where you find your edge, your resilience, and your power. It's not just about winning the battle, it's about evolving through it. Number 10. You don't just tolerate being misunderstood. 
Being misunderstood is something you've grown accustomed to. You don't just tolerate it, you expect it. Over time, you've realized that the way you think, act, and make decisions often sets you apart from others. Your ideas are unique, your behavior's unconventional, and your choices often go against the grain. So when people don't quite get you, it doesn't surprise you. In fact, you've come to anticipate it. You understand that standing out comes with a price, and that price is often being seen as different or even strange. But you don't let this bother you. Instead of feeling frustrated or alienated, you see it as a natural consequence of living authentically. You're not interested in conforming just to fit in or be understood by everyone. Your path is your own, and you're content with that, even if it means others might never fully grasp your perspective. This mindset gives you a quiet confidence. You're not swayed by others' opinions or their lack of understanding. You know who you are and what you stand for, and that's enough. When people look at you with confusion or skepticism, you don't feel the need to explain or justify yourself. You've learned that true understanding is rare, and you're okay with that. In a world that often values sameness and conformity, your willingness to embrace being misunderstood is a testament to your strength and individuality. You walk your own path, expecting the world to watch with puzzled eyes, and you wouldn't have it any other way. Thanks for tuning in, gents. Bye for now, and see you in the next video. Take care.